What you're currently looking at is the massive Red Magic 3 gaming phone. Yes, it is another gaming phone, but one that at $479 might be worth a closer look. So let's go. You follow up to the Red Magic Mars, this is a beast of a phone. What's important here is that while it is a gaming phone, it does have some powerhouse internals for the price. That means Snapdragon 855, 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 128 or 256 gig of non-expandable internal storage. Graphical grunt is provided by the Adreno 640 GPU. What separates this from other similarly spec devices out there is a massive 6.65 inch Full HD plus 90Hz refresh rate display. My biggest gripe is that while the display is smooth, coming directly from the OnePlus 7 Pro, there is some noticeable choppiness in scrolling and swiping at times. That said, for watching videos, the huge notchless display is superb, it immerses you in videos and content, and the viewing angles and overall brightness are very good. Now let's talk gaming, which is at the core of this handset. Games run very, very well given the hardware. The dedicated gaming mode launches into an Xbox-like interface that allows you to quickly launch into games. It also fires up the internal fans. Yes, this device does have internal fans. Once you flip the dedicated switch, you can hear them whir into action, but in all honesty, I'm not sure if the cooling actually helps. I haven't noticed the device getting hot, so maybe it does more than I anticipated. You can make adjustments to the performance too when you're in this gaming mode. One of the only titles that I regularly play is Asphalt 9, and it runs really, really well without hiccup or issues. Another thing to note with this device is you can remap the top triggers if you want more tailored controls, but I found that I prefer the on-screen buttons for comfort. In general, usage of the phone is pretty fast and smooth, giving it almost runs barebones stock Android with minimal tweaks and additions. The day-to-day -day experience is overall solid given the internal specifications, and so it should be. Elsewhere, the battery is one area that should be solid, as a 5000mAh cell is most definitely impressive on paper. In practice, you can take on mammoth gaming sessions with relative ease, without fear of needing to top up the battery. Then, should you need to, the 18 watt fast charger will give you a decent blast of battery without slowing you down. That said, it would have been nice to have seen 42 watt fast charging, considering just how big this battery is. I didn't expect a great deal from the camera on the Red Magic 3, given this is a gaming phone, but I have been pleasantly surprised. The 48 megapixel single lens rear camera setup isn't bad at all. It does have a lackluster camera application though. Because the camera uses pixel bin in tech, you get 12 megapixel stills straight out of the camera. For me, they are a little contrasty or moody in look and feel, but they are pretty crisp, clear, and you can actually opt for full fat 48 megapixel stills, which do introduce a lot more noise. Around the front, the 16 megapixel front facing selfie camera isn't quite up to scratch though, and it includes a beautification feature of standard, but no portrait mode. It'll take a picture, but don't expect great results. Now in video, the Red Magic 3 does have an ace up its sleeve in the form of 8K video recording. Yes, 8K. It has to be noted that it is still in beta, so results can be a little bit hit or miss, but when they come out well, they look impressive to say the least. The rest of the video modes are pretty solid, including 4K at 60fps, but there is no video stabilization of any sort though. So with all that information in mind, I have to say that the Red Magic 3 may be aimed at gamers, but it offers a decent amount of value for $479. Sure, it isn't the prettiest, and there are a few things that leave a lot to be desired, but it is a solid package for those that value top tier specs in an affordable package. I'd love to know what you think, would you cop the Red Magic 3, given the pricing and internal specifications? Let us know in the comment section below, and then before you head off, remember to like the video and subscribe for more content just like this. But until next time, this is Damien for 95 Google, and I will speak to you later.